have seen the Navigator here at Sunnyfield. Well, we've seen an airplane that looked a lot like this. It was called the 3X55, but now it's called the Navigator 600 and it's fully SLSA approved. So is this an all-composite uh, airplane now? Yes, it is an all-composite airplane. Uh, originally fabricated in Poland and sold out of Buffalo, New York to the United States market. Lovely construction. And another thing I kind of like about it is it sits a little lower. It's really easy exit and entry. Let me show you the door here. Gull wing doors, flips up very nicely, gas strut there to make it very easy, holds it up for you, you don't have to prop this up for yourself. Lean forward a little bit, reach in, sit down with your rear, pull your legs in afterward, and a comfortable interior too. The seats feel very nice. You can, you can sit in this airplane for a nice long flight. One more thing I kind of like about it, it's got sort of a blue tint to the, to the uh, plexiglass, which makes it feel very cool and comfortable inside here even on a warm Florida day like this but look at this nice clean panel here not a lot of things jutting out at you dual screen none of those old-fashioned steam gauges very comfortable airplane with nicely bolstered seats I remember when I flew in this it just felt really comfortable one thing I like is a long seat cushion that supports your leg well it's important to some folks a control system what are they using for controls in this airplane Dave we see that they've got dual joysticks with the brake just on one side, in this case the brake is a handbrake, kind of but uh, hydraulically powered so that it's plenty strong and an easy grip will uh, slow you down very nicely. Now what about uh, ground handling on it? It's got a steerable nose wheel with dual uh, uh, pedals on each side so each occupant can do it. You can train in this airplane very nicely. Now, it still looks like there's a little bit of storage area in the back here as well. Yeah, if you come up and over here, if you can get your camera up there, you got a little place back up here which is typically called a hat rack where you can have things that you have along in flight with you. And then as you pull the seat forward, I believe this is a storage compartment back here where you could, it says right here, you could put a maximum of 20 kilograms or about 45 pounds of luggage. That'll take you from here to there and bring your bags along with you. And there's lots of visibility of this airplane too. They've got the windows well situated in the back and, and out the front. It's beautiful because if, when you're sitting in the seat, if you turn around, you can actually turn and look at the tailplane, which any pilot likes to do, wants to check out and make sure the elevator is working the way it's supposed to just before takeoff. And this one allows you some aft visibility, but also, not directly in front of you, but to the back, some upward visibility, which just brings a lot of light into the cockpit and makes it a nice airy feel. Is this airplane equipped with flaps to roll down? Yes, it is. These are some nice mechanical flaps right overhead, so they're not in your way at all, but a nice finish to it. Pull forward on the hab handle, and then you've got two detent positions for two levels of flaps. We're back to neutral. And what kind of power are they using to uh, get this little girl airborne? Well, this guy uses uh, the popular Rotax 912S 100 horsepower engine, spinning this pretty three blade wood comp prop. Makes it nice, nice and smooth with that third blade up there. This is a little slower airplane though, but a very fun airplane to fly. It'll cruise at about 100 knots. That's 115 miles an hour, and that's fast enough to get you all kinds of regional travel. And have you done a report on this one, Ben? I have done a flight report on this, and that's available at my website, which is bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.